When we first approached the design process, we tried to determine what our end goal is. So we try to look at the gaps in our product line, we try to look at the gaps in the marketplace, and we try to see what's missing. And that's kind of what guides our design process. So we, we go from there and we start filling in the blanks. I have a very organic approach to design, very natural. Ideas just come to me and I just put them down. I put them down in the most convenient way possible. And usually that's with the computer. I like to go straight to the computer and start creating a 3D model so I can tweak that and get it exactly the way I want it uh, as quick as possible. If the computer isn't available to me, then I'll sketch it if I need to, or if I have an iPad, I'll, I'll sketch it on the iPad. One of the key design features of the VPS line is vehicle optimized aesthetics. And what that means is that for every different vehicle that we produce VPS for, the aesthetics of the wheel are going to be optimized for that vehicle. And we can do that by making the hub diameter as small as possible for the bolt pattern that's going on that vehicle. The aspect of the InfiniLip that makes it a signature VPS design feature is the difficulty required in the manufacturing process. To achieve the InfiniLip, we have to do something that's known in the machining world as 3D. This is where the machine takes multiple passes to cut the same surface. Whereas using the most mainstream conventional machining techniques, a single toolpath is used to create the surface.